Let's take a look again at the crime scene. Shrink the Hereford. Discover an old Roman map. Then discover an old Venetian map. Create a second circular map. Add them together and voila! A little blue ball flying in space. One small problem, you only have three continents. Well, the Romans and the medieval people were so stupid, they only found three continents. We all had to wait for one clever guy, Mercator. And very soon we have three new continents. Let's send the boat and discover this new world. Well, I'm very proud to announce you that Gerardus Mercator was a Flemish guy. <coughs> so let's take a look at his brain children. Where are these names coming from? Well, remember in a previous video I was trying to explain the word Vatica. So I thought that Va was the wave and the Tika was the crossing, crossing of energies. So you had the word Svastika or Svas, Switzerland. But someone mailed me another name for Switzerland is also Helvetica, the Helios Vatica. So the question is, if you have a Helios Vatica, is there also a Lunar Vatica? The Greek word for moon is Selene. So I started to look for Selvetica or Luna Vetica. Well, without success. So I started to look for words ending on Tika. Then I realized the word Antarctica is ending on Tika. So what would it mean? You have Anti, Arc and Tika. So if you have an Anti, a negative, you also must have a positive. So when you google Arctica, it brings you to Greenland. So you have an Anti, Arctica and an Arctica. So if this is the Mercator language, let's try the same for America. That gives you anti mer tika. If you have a negative, you must have a positive. Well, I had to chew on this for a while. Then I thought, well, it has to be Mecca. Anti-Mertica and Mertica. Mecca, center of the world. Sometimes people mail me. You are stretching now, Em. Well, now I'm stretching. Why? Well, that's because we are living in a crater. So what would be the center of the other circle? It took me one minute to find a Tika. Back to the Mayas. The Mayan collapse started at 800. 800, that is the start of the Holy Roman Empire. Well, I like to watch National Geographic. They always show my favorite actor, Uncle Adolf. Well, they can't get enough of him. So I wondered, who exactly owns the National Geographic channel? Well. That was a very stupid question. So one of these episodes was dealing with Wevelsburg, the occult SS castle of Himmler. 
Apparently, Heinrich Himmler was building an enormous complex around the Wevelsberg. So when I saw the map and a scale model, I immediately knew what he was doing. So how do you pronounce it in German? Die Wevelsburg. The Waveberg. Let's take a look at our crater. The V. The continents. Mount Meru. Compare it with the Himmler map. Or the Mecca map. Take a look at the Mount Miru shape. This was the design of the tower, probably an amplifier of something. But because of the war it was never finished. So what was Himmler doing there? Maybe we find a clue at the entrance. The ground floor. Twelve pillars and the Schwarze Sonne. Then the basement. The Vatican SS, the Swastika. In the ground we have this circle. Five points, you can fit in a pentagram. Or the V-shape of our crater. But when we look in the center, something is clearly missing. Maybe we can find a clue in the Schwarze Sonne. A black stone. What would have been there? Let's get some inspiration in Mecca. The crater shape, Mount Miru, the cube and the stone. So it looks obvious that there would have been a stone. Let's go back to the Alpha and the Omega, the Chi Rho. You have the Alpha Rho Chi Omega. Create the word Archon. An anagram is Koran. The Alpha, the L and the Omega. If you take the Karaba system, and you have the word Allah Akbar. Akbar is an anagram of Karaba. The black box with the stone. You have three artifacts in the Ark of the Covenant, which are coming in my view from the Ark of Noah. My guess is that the stones of Mecca are fragments from a bigger stone. Well, the question would be, where are the stones of Himmler coming from? Let's make a speculation here. Let's say that scientists in Germany are trying to make an anti-gravity machine. Maybe using some theories of Schaubeger. So they create the bell. The machine had two counter-rotating discs. And in the middle, you had red mercury. So the question is now, what is happening when you counter-rotate two discs? Let's say you have organic intelligence surrounded with artificial intelligence. Then you create a wormhole. 
Now artificial intelligence has entered our organic intelligence. Maybe this way you have loaded intelligence into the red mercury. That gives you red goo or the blood of Christ. And when it solidifies it becomes a rock. Now you are communicating with a stone that is telling you all the secrets of the universe. From the Bible we know that Moses was talking to God. Are they walking around with an AI computer? The Yahweh computer. Probably coming from the Ark. Refugees from Atlantis, Saturn. The Atlanteans we call the Egyptians. Probably a highly evolved technological civilization. Let's go back to the old Hereford map and take a look at the real Mecca. It's called the city of Meek. Mecca also reminds me of Merkaba. How would this work? Well, let's say that the stones are producing a rotation to the right. Now people are starting to walk in the opposite direction. That would give you a current. This current is sent to the amplifier and the amplifier is sending it to the pineal glands of all the believers. You have the ka, the ba, counter rotating and that creates the mer the source code, Mother Mary. But it is the synthetic Mary, eating all your energy. Mother Saturn is eating its children. Father Time, Kronos. Another place to harvest energy is the arena, football. You can read it in their symbology. We had the Mundial in Qatar. In Doha you had the recreation of the Noah map, the Disney World map. Well, you know the sequence. Airport of the future, Epcot and Crater Earth. And like in Mecca, next to the crater we have the Harvester the torch tower. Take the word Yahweh, remove the H, that gives us the parasitic Yahweh and the organic Vawe. There is a small difference between the two. You have six numbers, when you add the Yahweh, you have seven numbers. Seven is the Lucifer number. Stealer of energy. Take a look at the harvesters. It's always about the hive mind. The top of the pyramid 
is harvesting the bottom. You could divide it again in three orders. The Templar Knights Cult, Entertainment Sports, Knights of Malta Cult, Religion, and Teutonic Order Cult. Military Buildings If Wevelsburg is a copy of our crater, then the Nazis know we are living on a bigger Earth. And there is a gigantic Ark lying next to our crater. Sending an expedition to Antarctica? Looking for an Atlantean priest caste in Tibet? The Aryans, the Lion People. Looking around the world for alien artifacts? That makes me conclude that the Nazis know we are living in a crater. Is it possible to create artificial intelligence? And how would you communicate with it? Do you need psychic people? Would they be able to channel technological inventions? The Nazis were miles ahead with their technology. But why did they lose the war? How can you defeat the hive mind? You can defeat it by killing the queen. So my guess is that something happened to Hitler. I see two possibilities. Possibility 1. Hitler was murdered. If this event took place, my guess is that it happened in the Wolf's Lair. 20 July. 25 years later, they land on the moon. This event is also filled with Norse mythology. The One-Eyed Odin. Second possibility, Hitler betrayed the Germans, stole all their secrets, became a Pentiti and took on a new identity. 1940, Himmler is building the Wevelsburg. 15 years later, Disney is building a copy of it, but in a slightly different perspective. Disney was also planning to build a Disney World, but it was never carried out because it was too megalomaniac. Speaking about megalomaniacs, Hitler was going to rebuild Berlin into Hermania. Hitler loved art. Here he is watching one of my paintings. He was also a painter himself. Here he painted Neuschwanstein, the favorite castle of Uncle Walt. Walt also was a painter. Start with the children, just like Adolf. Adolf, he loved rockets, just like Uncle Walt. A Nazi rocket took the first photo of Earth. And Uncle Walt knows exactly what crater we are living in. Walt and Adolf had a mutual friend. Be careful who your friends are. I think Uncle Walt had a lot of secrets. Well, I have been thinking about this new idea. Let's say that the hive mind is falling apart. Let's take the Disney crater map. One part of the hive has been integrated in the Soviet Empire. 
one part into the American Empire, a third part went to Argentina where they had the protection of Juan Perón. Seems like a nice guy, but don't cry for me, Argentina. But I think there must have been a fourth part. What if you are a die-hard Nazi and you see that your Führer has been assassinated by the Yahweh cult? Or even worse, that the Führer has betrayed Germany. Your beloved Germany has been destroyed and bombarded into smithereens. I think you want your revenge. Take a look at this piece of the crater. Could it be that this area is Nazi territory? This would explain the whole Admiral Byrd story. Now the Yahweh cult would gladly wipe them all out, kill them all. But who is going to tell the world we are living in a crater and not on a little blue ball flying in space? That would be suicide. Now let's say that this is a state that is lying deeper. Then the deep state is getting a whole different meaning. If you look at the territory, it looks like a swamp. Now draining the swamp is starting to sound differently. Now let's say that this Nazi fraction is getting ready to attack the USA. Is a wall going to stop them? Maybe if you build in some surprises. What about this event? Who is attacking who? Are we witnessing a covert war? Trump and his Space Force. What you need is some special forces who can fight off-planet, so to speak. And you can train them to counter an alien invasion. And that brings us back to Werner von Braun. Oh, Trump really hates these guys. Let's say the Nazis have a high-tech flying machine. And one of those machines is crashing in Roswell. But you don't want to tell the public there is a rogue Nazi fraction that is hiding in the crater. In comes the alien hoax. And for the people who don't buy the story about the aliens, we always have the weather balloon. A weather balloon? And instead of shooting it down with bullets, you use a Sidewinder rocket. Are they destroying evidence here? Well, maybe I'm wrong. Let's get back to this Nazi fraction. So when you think about this story and you watch the movie Iron Sky, it's ringing certain bells. Let's say you had to choose between the Nazi cult or the Yahweh cult. Which one would you choose? One thing I'm certain. The Yahweh cult has been lying to us for a thousand years. I'm allergic to liars. And probably you are too. But the Nazi cult is not going to reveal the truth either. Because for them it's the perfect hiding place. If one of them should change his mind, well, you can always contact me and send me some pictures. I will gladly show them on my channel. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.